Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. Apple's HTTP Live Streaming is the most widely used adaptive streaming technology today because it can play on all three screens, desktop, mobile, and OTT. Producing streams for Apple's HTTP Live Streaming couldn't be easier with Sorensen Squeeze. What's unique about Sorensen Squeeze is that the presets it creates enforce three key best practices in HLS file creation. And let me tell you what I mean. So here's a Squeeze preset that I've customized for my own use. And there's several that come canned with the program, and you can obviously customize those to whatever stream configurations you want. But there's three key best practices when you're producing an HLS file. One is you want the same keyframe interval for all files. And as you see, you set the keyframe interval for all these iterations up here. You want that keyframe interval to divide evenly into the chunk size or the fragment size. We'll look at what that is in a second, which Squeeze does here. And you want to apply the same audio file to all files, which Squeeze does here. And the other cool thing about Squeeze is that you can use either the main concept or the X.264 codec. And this preset uses main concept. So once you apply the preset to your source file, you press Squeeze it. Squeeze goes off and produces what you see here. So what drives HLS playback is an M3U8 file. And this is the main M3U8 file that looks like, okay, let me open it up for you. It looks like this. And basically, this just identifies the location of the alternative streams that the player is going to choose to play. So here are all the streams. And obviously, you're going to upload this to your website. And this main M3U8 file points the player to M3U8 files here that describe where the fragment locations are. So again, Squeeze is creating two types of files. One are the index files. And the other are the actual fragment files that contain the audio video data. And all you do to make this work for playback is to create a link to the M3U8 file on a web page. And we can see that here. Here's an embed code that JW Player actually created for me using a simple wizard. So you don't have to be a programmer to create this, and I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. But all we're doing is creating a link to this M3U8 file, which is the main M3U8 file. The player finds that, and that gives it all the information it needs to negotiate between the various iterations to download and play the, the best iteration for uh, the player and whatever bandwidth connections the player is watching via. So basically, with Squeeze, you apply the presets, squeeze the file, it creates all the chunked and manifest files that you need. In your web page, you link to this, and then you're done. And because I use the JW Player, this particular URL will play on all iOS devices, all Flash-enabled desktops, and many Android devices. To learn more about how to configure, encode, and deploy HTTP Live Streaming, you should attend this free webinar, Adaptive Streaming to Desktops and Mobile via HTTP Live Streaming. A simple approach, no coding required. And this is going to be held on Tuesday, January 28, 2014. If you can't make it, you should register anyway because we'll send you a link to the on-demand file when it goes up on the Streaming Learning Center site. And if you can't type in all the information here, just go to this bit.ly link and it will take you to this page here. So look out for the next tutorial on how JW Player gives you a simple wizard to create this embed code that we showed you. And I hope to see you at the webinar next week. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.